It's not always when I'm involved, but it's always when I'm in the room in some sort of sense. Anyway, uh, so, hello everyone, welcome to the Room Ball Thought, the podcast that we, where we're talking about anything and everything all the time and we bounce around like a Room Ball in a room. Uh, I'm your host, Jimmy, and we'll we're here with... All of the time. We're here with uh, our friend Meep, and we have a special guest today, which is uh, He Who Is Bored, also known as Kane. Say hello. 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 So, uh, attempt two. <laughs> yeah, I said that attempt number two. Attempt two. Uh, let, let's let's get, we'll get right to it before something goes wrong again. Uh, so. Oh, uh, uh, apparently the, the, the images I said that are like the beans for you that are in a channel that our special guest doesn't have access to, but, uh, the... I have access to nothing. Nope. Uh, hold on, let me just manually just give you view permissions for it, but, uh, the fact is... Hear me, hear me. I'll, I'll send you a picture of what I have access to. And send it to general. Exactly, yeah. That's what you should be able to see. I'm just gonna make it so he can see in this channel and, and do nothing else, so. Problem solved. Well, that's escalated quickly. There. You, you should be able to oh. see in the images thing now, but in the, the the what we what I've made the executive decision we're gonna tar- talk about first is the uh, Twitter hashtag Russian Civil War, which, if you aren't aware, like two days ago, uh, Putin's favorite mercenaries, the Wagner Group, decided they no longer want to be Putin's favorite mercenaries and marched on the city of Rostov-on-Don, which is like the 10th largest city in Russia before moving towards Moscow. Got into like two firefights or something. Hmm. They, were, they faced basically no resistance because the entirety of the Russian army was behind them. Uh, yeah. And then like 24 hours after all this started, uh, they agreed to return to base. Presumably because Putin's like, fine, I'll give you more money or something. I don't know. That are, I, I think it was probably more Putin agreed with the person in the Russian Ministry of Defense who was like having a big beef with uh, the leader Wagner probably said yeah he can be fired or something I don't know but like there was a lot of beams uh, 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 as can, can can you see the images chat now can you yeah, see the I, images I, I, I can there, see them. there was a lot of beams uh, such a as breaking news, President Biden opens up strategic popcorn reserve to deal with increased demand. We got the car drifting meme from the James Cameron timeline to the Tom Clancy timeline. We have a... So, who of you had a Russian Civil War on our 2023 bingo? Uh-huh. We've got a couple of them that are just like different of the fighting memes while everyone's watching. Uh, we've got a history meme that's the Civil War in Russia. Poles and Ukraine's on the same side. Massive Polish offensive into Russia in 1605 and 1919. 2023, you've got two of those, and then this is the... I think it's PewDiePie. I'm beginning to see a pattern that I'm very sure I like. <laughs> yeah, that is. Everyone agrees. It's Poland's God-given right to beat Russia's ass. <laughs> Uh, and, and then it just culminates with the, the, the Patchy the Pirate. That's it. That was the whole Civil War. And, uh, yeah. I, I'll be honest, I fully expect to see the news in, like, with, within, probably within, like, a week or something. And the head of Wagner has mysteriously fallen out of a window. Uh, yeah, it's mysteriously oh, fallen out of a window. Because that, that's the modus operandi of Putin. Instead of you get pulled behind the barn and shot, you get thrown out a window. Oh no. So, in, in, in lighter news, because uh, 
just letter news. Who saw the uh, this week's uh, Nintendo Direct? I did not. I did. They opened we with banger. We Mario fans are eating good. The like, very first thing they opened with was the, was a progress update for Scarlet and Violet's DLC, and then they went right to the good stuff. Yeah, Detective Pikachu Returns, which I'm gonna be honest, doesn't look that nice, but it's Detective Pikachu. I'm sure it'll be fun. Mario RPG Remake. Oh my God, that game is a banger. I swear to God, if they mess up this remake, I'm going to burn someone's house down, and it's not going to be mine. Honestly, I'm surprised that they decided to put Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the Switch so soon. I mean, so soon? We're in, like, the sixth year of life on the Switch. They haven't done anything for Luigi's Mansion recently, and, like, they could have done more stuff with three, but they didn't. They were happy with it. I'm not complaining. I'm also, uh, new months, uh, new Dragon Quest esque game, which is basically Pokemon, but Dragon Quest. And now we now have uh, season five of the. Are we going to say Battle Pass? It's basically the battle pass for Mario Kart uh, 8, which includes a couple of new characters, which are Petey Piranha, uh, Kamek, and Wiggler. Still no Rob. Hmm. Also, we finally have a 2D Mario that's not called New Super Mario Bros. I mean, the only true 2D Mario is Super Paper Mario. <laughs> Not even then, because you go 3D sometimes in Super Paper Mario. The whole yeah. point of Paper Mario there is that he's 2D. Thing. <laughs> Wait, he does origami. Uh, actually, actually, doing origami makes sense. That, that seems like a reasonable thing to do in Paper Mario. <laughs> the, literally, the last game is about that. It's about origami. <laughs> he, he he becomes Kartana, the, the best water beast. Fight me. No, it's uh, also no, it's Formosa. The only ultra beast I've ever had as a shiny was Kartana. Kartana, I like more just because I find it funny. Like ah oh, yes, got a literal piece of origami with what are its stats? Oh. You know, just casually has the second highest attack stat in the entire game. I mean, Paper Guard is hurt a lot. I mean, they've done much worse. They did Reggie Alecki. <laughs> they I got banned day one of being put in Scarlet and Violet. Wow. Literally because he, got, he gets both being coverage. And that's too good. Yeah. The sole reason they got banned is because of Terra typing. They, they introduced new Reggies and they were broken. Incredible. Can we make the old Reggies not shit, please? <laughs> now, only... I, I've never... I don't hear about Reggie Drago, though. I only hear about Reggie Alecki. Because Reggie Alecki is literally the fastest Pokemon, and it has access to Electro Ball. Also, a lot of good utility in it, because it also has Electro Web. I, uh... I Reggie, did some brainstorming the other day and realized you could take the speed up to 11. Oh, oh, no wonder. You could, uh, you, you could skill swap it with an Alolan Raichu and then throw up electric terrain to get over a thousand speed. Why not, why not just, you know, casually, casually also give it a choice card? There are so many ways to break Regieleki. <laughs> Imagine I, I, giving Reggie like a choice card. The, the, the only reason the Gen 9 meta isn't as dumb as it could possibly be is they didn't put the Ninjask line in the Pokedex for it. There are a lot of Pokemon that I don't like in the Gen 9 Pokedex. For example? I'll be real. Kane, are you familiar though 
with how fucking busted shit in I know. Electric protect Terratype holding balloon. Yeah. Just, I'm aware. Terratype yeah. plus Wonder Guard. That'll People go well. Way to one up that, though. I wonder There's why a... they didn't introduce him into the game. There's a fire type move that completely removes your fire yep. typing, and people are giving Wonder Guard to those Pokemon so that yep. they literally have no typing to give a weakness to. Yep. It is Galaxy Brain, because it'll still do more damage than Ninjask, and it'll be just as threatening. Yeah, the, 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 that 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 meme is uh, certainly big funny. Uh, yeah, Especially I'm, since they also have like more health than Shedinja's Mister Hard Coded to only have one. Uh, it would be a lot more useful if they had more than one health, but it would also be a much greater threat then. Question: uh, Something I will never understand is why they gave Shedinja actual de actual defense stats. Uh, that's, ditto. that's. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. But even then, Shedinja just won't use them. <laughs> he doesn't need them. He only has one HP. Yeah, yeah I have a couple issues with Gen Nine, but the biggest ones are honestly kind of petty. Like I do not like Barracuda and Aracuda. I don't like them as Pokemon at all. I mean, it fits that they're in this gen, in this gen, though. Yeah, but honestly, I would have much preferred to see Zigzagoon or even Block. Look, I would have also loved Zigzagoon, but uh, there's no, like, raccoon story in Spain. There's, like, no raccoons in this country. Yeah, aren't but... raccoons, like, a thing that's native to the North American continent? Alright, but listen. Obstagoon. That wouldn't make sense either. Sure it would. They got a dark tug team. I mean, Lorena is according to Spain. Let me remind you, I'm Spanish, and Obstagoon would not make any sense. It doesn't make sense for Perserker to be there either, but Perserker's there. Here's the thing, it's brought by a Galarian uh, teacher. They literally explain to you in game. Oh, this is a gift from a teacher that comes from Galar, because you know it's a Galarian Meowth. That's why it's that, in the game. The, it, it's the not British in the Pokedex. Are, the British are here once again ruining Spain. I also have a gripe with that teacher. Why do you have a pin on your outfit up in the lower right my choose tail, but you have no regional variants in your team? <laughs> they got they got stopped by customs. <laughs> Honestly, your honestly, entire gimmick as a teacher is languages and different regions, but you have no variations. Honestly, hot take. I I, I, I personally feel like with the way they established the regional variants originally, that they shouldn't have continued after Alola. I mean, Hisuian would make sense, though. Hisuian makes sense, I'll give you that, but... The the way it was originally pitched is, Alola has this because Alola is an isolated island chain, and thus this has happened oh. because it's so isolated. That makes sense. I mean... But then they started introducing it in every region, which, yeah, is nice for, like, making make it right, very... Right. Which is like better, like out of universe, but in universe, it doesn't make sense. I have to wonder how many non gen one Pokemon are there in the form of song? It does make sense. Animals in real life adapt like that. Yes, however, they gave it, they gave it lore and then immediately ignored the lore they gave it. It's like Disney Star Wars up in here. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but. Then you're, you're questioning a company that. Went from Raichu being able to kill an elephant to Raichu being able to kill a Kaparaja, something that resists electric. I mean, but a Kaparaja is, is an elephant. They just basically retconned the elephant into a Kaparaja. It, it's. Jimmy, it's not like there weren't elephants in Pokemon before, they were just ground types. One thing was a thing. The only. Yeah. 
The only difference is that Don Fan is a ground type. And that wouldn't make it sense does. then. So, so, so they, they at least have a little bit of brain power ground. over there. You forget the ring target was a thing. But that's not that's not something a wild Pokemon would have. No, but it's something they would use for research. What the heck is even like the actual in-game use of the ring target? I have no idea. Trick and then hit a ghost type of it. Okay, that seems utterly really niche. Uh, ring I target absolutely is, uh, must hit this Gengar with Hyper Beam. Fight. Speaking of banger for stuff in Gen 9, though, Annihilate. True. One of the few new evolutions done right. I mean... I like these lords. You can't tell me seriously that you're actually okay with the Dunsparce. It didn't change type, it didn't change ability. It's funny, is funny as hell. And I am okay it with be, it. But... Dunsparce, Kane, take it like this. Dunsparce is the perfect life form. They just made the perfect life form even more perfect. They just made him long. And that's long funny as, as hell. And that's funny as hell and I'm all for it. <laughs> so Dunsparce reads like a real sh uh, a real life shit post. A triple A shit post, if you will. I still would have preferred that they had actually changed its typing in the evolution. At I mean, maybe it, I'd make it ground type. That wouldn't make sense, but still funny as hell. <laughs> I'm alright with it keeping the abilities because it has stuff like screen grace. And you can just swap abilities with other people. Also, uh, do you, I don't know if you guys do, but do you collect Pokemon cards or do you, like, sometimes buy Pokemon Dude, cards? I broke a binder with them. <laughs> hmm? I do collect them. In fact, I broke a binder with them. <laughs> Bruh. I've got so, like an Eevee Pokemon card, and somewhere I've got one of those big novelty cards that's a delay that one of my friends got me as a birthday present. Yeah. I just one wanted to. Ago, my dad got me a 3DS case, even though I don't have a 3DS, and I hold all my valuable cards in it. I just wanted to say because I got the, you know, the, the funny Tandem Mouse card when there's where the Tandem Mouse, when I share it's like happy, there's this uh, Terry Berry in the middle, and then one of the Tandem Mouse is like screaming. Mouth agape? No. Hold on, let me, let me of, find this. Uh, one of my new favorite cards that I got recently, it's a V Genesect, and it's busting a move. <laughs> like, actually break dancing. Hold on, I'll go get the picture. I sent it to another Discord. Hold on, I'm looking for the card that I'm, that I'm saying. Ah, I found it. Oh yeah, uh, little story. I bought an EX Rayquaza off of somebody for a literal dollar. Pog. Oh, okay. Back in uh, <laughs> back in middle school, we had the we had the class snacks that were like a quarter a piece or whatever. And so I was like, hey, I'll give you a dollar for that card. And since we were little kids, we were like, I bet. Nice. Okay, there it is. Oh, and I found the card. I just need to, you know. I'll send it to general. Take it. Take I'm it. I'm hearing more memes about Ooh. current events. Look at Different that. Current events. It's a fusion strike card too. Also, uh, speaking of cards, they now changed the borders on the Pokemon cards. Yeah. It is the end of an era. There's no more. There's no more yellow border. It's now. Uh, uh, grayish, silverish. You mean like the one that I just said? Probably. I got two V Genesect actually. Uh, last Christmas, my sister got me some cards because she don't know what else I like. And from both packs, I got a V Genesect. Okay. Damn. They're both full art. They're both hollow. They're both busting a move. No, the other one is just, uh, uh, same card, different art. Hold on, let me post the, let me post the image of the, 
of the Panda Mouse. Dendemus is such a funny Pokemon. Oh my god, he ballin'. He busted a down sex trip slot. Oh my god. Why did you just look at the picture? Genesect would never be balling, Genesect. <laughs> yeah, that Genesect busting a move, and that Smeargle is appreciating it. Hold on, wait, Jimmy, is is that how Roar's spelled in Spanish? No, that's no. That's G N A W. It, that's no uh, in English. Okay. Excuse me, what? Also, that -E -R. Okay. Roer bigger. Roer means no. Uh, roar is it's rugido, rugir. Bad. That's yeah, roar. Being a more bolder. I can't. Ro I can't roll my R's. That's one of the many. I know. I have, I, have well, I have to do it. <laughs> The benefit of growing up Spanish, Jimmy, is the fact that you know how to roll your R's. You know the funny thing? Until I was like 16, I wasn't able to roll my R's. Yeah, but you grew up around it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, anyway. I used to, uh, my R's used to be like if I was uh, Perry, the plant pest. <laughs> yes, Perry the plant boost. Anyway. I can't do the Perry Platypus sound loud enough for my mic to pick it up. Uh, b bouncing off to different current events. The world's shittiest submarine. Oh, yeah! <laughs> do I want to know? I just posed another collection of images in the image. Isn't that the drone? The drone submarine that got lost? Why is uh, there a DK Bongos? The drone. This <laughs> is you actually read navigation. Those are DK Bongos. Yeah, because the the meme is so. F if you're not aware, somehow, uh, five rich assholes got in a submarine to go view the Titanic, uh, yeah. and it vanished uh, because it imploded. Uh, because it was had the build quality of. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Hmm. Uh, Chinese knockoff products. No, that's an insult to Chinese knockoff products. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, it was not very good. Uh, and the fact it, honestly, the fact it took this long for it to implode, uh, after going down several times, is and hey. impressive. But, uh, so, first we got the, the picture DK... The DK Bongos. Jungle Bongos. Because the, the controller for this was like a Logitech... It was basically a little game pad. A little Logitech game pad. So basically like a DualShock 4 or something. Got a better so, example for what it, it could be built like. Magic Heart. Better than <laughs> you think it is, but still not very good. Yeah. And, and basically the reason this is the DK Bongos is... is uh, they picked up like a banging sound, so the joke is odd. Auxiliary navigation system, they switched from the DualShock 4 to <laughs> the DK Bongo. It wasn't a DualShock 4, it was some Logitech thing. Then we've got the, the obligatory Saddam Hussein lying down meme. Yeah, the, the uh, Saddam, uh, Saddam Hussein uh, base, where he's sitting everywhere. The, the, these Titanic submarine memes are despicable. How can y'all sink so low? <laughs> then we've got James Cameron, uh, the Titanic movie related memes. The Titanic too. And there's you memes gotta... talking about the f facts like, why is this getting so much news coverage? Like a month ago, 400 migrants died in crossing the Mediterranean. No news coverage. Basically, like the Greeks sent like one Coast Guard cutter out to it. Meanwhile, five rich go not guys go missing. We have basically half the U.S. Coast Guard on the case in like three hours. America. And you yeah, know what makes that utter waste of tax dollars even more ridiculous? Yeah. Like, it, it came out like on Thursday that the U.S. Navy had like something nearby that picked up the sound of the submarine imploding. Oh god. Like on 
they, 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 they knew that it happened and told like the other people, guys, it's gone. We know it's gone. And they still it, spent days. Wow, there's no more people that were within it. Uh, what, what, one of the pictures here is a picture of the submarine from before it uh, died uh, of one of the monitors inside it screwed into the side of the hull. We just screws into the hole that apparently for some reason was made of carbon fiber because that's definitely rated to those pressures. You know what this reminded me of? Yes? The drift boy on my sword that tried to use self-destruct on my metal metal. I did a total of one damage. <laughs> and then the, the, the pinnacle though is the the, 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 Mina, it's the guy poking with a stick. And it's just poking in a picture of uh, Bezos and Elon Musk, and it just says, Come on, go see the Titanic. Uh, and then finally, to kind of wrap off the, the memes, uh, someone on Twitter got tired of people basically shitting on the internet for being horrible people. Oh, wait, no, that's not the right thing. Uh, and... basically got tired of people shitting on uh, people on the internet for being horrible people and responded, guys, this is nothing new, and then responded with a collection of newspaper headlines from when the Titanic sunk, of people shitting on the Titanic for sinking. So we've got, it was kind of the Titanic to provide a ballroom for the mermaids. The adjective unsingable, like the word fireproof, will be accepted here after only in an approximate sense. At all of the events, the scientists seem to agree that icebergs in the path of ocean liners are not conducive to safety. If you open a lifeboat, now is a good time to sell it. There is a big demand for lifeboats and prices have gone up. For a second, yeah, I'm just gonna say. I'm fixing the problem of hearing yourself in my mic. I'm getting the headphones. Okay. Okay. One of, the be one of the beauties of aviating is that there are no icebergs floating in the sky. Yeah, I mean, true. There's hail. If the people on the Titanic known what the poets were going to do to them, maybe some of them would not have cared to survive. The horror of the Titanic disaster is not yet over. The poets now are breaking loose in fearful and wondrous constructive sentences. The number of the passengers who were rescued in the very last boat of the Titanic now nearly reaches the sum total of the army of tourists who have intended to sail on that vessel but changed their minds at the last moment. Damn. It, it, it's just shitting on these kind of tragedies is nothing new, guys. It's not just something Twitter's invented. Humans have always been pieces of shit. Yep. I, I couldn't find it, but there's also... They found the debris field. Uh, apparently, the, the, the stupid uh, Logitech gamepad that they used to control it survived, and, and there's like a picture of it just sitting on the seafloor. <laughs> and then I mean, you have, man, uh, imagine the con the controlling mechanism was more durable than the actual vessel. Uh, well, it didn't have to be a pressure vessel. Then you have uh that submarine-based horror game Iron Lung, which suddenly had significantly increased sales, and the <laughs> developers like, I don't know how to feel about this, guys. Damn. Based. Good news, the headphones are in. You won't have to listen to yourself now. Nice. I, I couldn't hear an echo anyway, Kane, I'm gonna be honest. I no, sometimes good. Okay. Uh, oh, then there's GTA players modded the shitty submarine in the GTA. <laughs> because, uh, of course, uh, GTA players. Yeah. And then there's, like, one of those, uh, uh, the the interview guy laughing. I don't know what the hell that one's for, but it's from. But it's just the, the POV. You're at Heaven's Gates and have to explain that you died at the Titanic a hundred years after it sank. It's just God <laughs> laughing at you. 
Uh, let's see, what else is here? Uh, oh, there's people adding stuff to the Lego Titanic dioramas. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> the, there's the Xbox, please reconnect to a controller, little icon pop up. That's very funny. Uh... Lots of James Cameron related stuff. Was... I know there's one I saw that was like an interview with like the... with someone b about this thing before it uh, collapsed and uh... I'll be honest. The, the the fact that the man who's conducting the interview, when being told about some of the features of the submarine, face palms laughing, does not exactly fill me with confidence on the integrity of this craft. Yeah. Reasons why we can't have nice things. The, 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 the one thing I will say, though, is the CEO, the guy who designed this thing, was on board. So... At least he's like putting his money where his mouth is to win his <laughs> Darwin Award. Mm hmm. Because I'll be honest, I fully expect that man to receive a Darwin Award. What's a Darwin Award? Uh, I, I don't think it's actually a real thing, but it's a, like a meme of uh, congratulations, you've removed yourself from the gene pool, have a prize. Huh. You're furthering evolution in the modern day, right? By through your own incompetence, removing yourself from the gene pool. Nice. Uh, what else could we talk about? Uh, I mean, let's we'll go have to a... the idea box and check. Yeah.